Our verse today is going to be Revelation chapter 2, verse 23. Now, just a little bit of a backstory. This is part of the letter to the church. It's referred to as the corrupt church, and it is the church in Thyatira. Now, um, verse 20 tells us that he's talking about or Jezebel here. Verse 23 says, I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and the hearts. And I will give to each one of you according to your works. Hearts here is, um, let me find cardiac, of course, physical organ of the body. The center of your physical life, the seat of your personal life. And it's the center of one's personality. The seat of your entire mental and emotional or moral activity. So let's add, let's include that in the verse and we're going to skip to all the churches will know that I am he who searches the minds and the center of your moral and emotional mental activity. So he's going to judge your intentions. He, he knows your thoughts before you do. He's going, his judgment is not going to be on the work of your hands necessarily, but the intention behind the work of your hands, why you chose to do things. He's going to look at the, the center or the seat of your personality and judge that. Wow. You better be for real. I mean, we better be true. We better be right because we can fool others. We can fool ourselves. There's no fooling him. He knows. He knows if it is all born out of jealousy. He knows if it's born out of material or personal greed. When you're doing things so that people can see that you're doing it. When you're doing things so that your name gets lifted up. When you're doing things for the kingdom that look good and sound good. And everybody's like, oh, how nice she is. Look how much they do for the church. And it's all because you want the accolades. He also knows if you're choosing him because... You don't want to be punished. There's a difference. Let me be careful about how I say this because I don't want to discourage anybody. I never want to turn anybody away from him because him is the only way to salvation. He is our only hope for redemption. He is our only hope for salvation. But what I would say in our personal um, acceptance, understanding, emotions, I am more interested in somebody that apologizes because that was the wrong thing to do than I am somebody that apologizes because I don't want to suffer the consequences of the mistake I made. And we need to understand that repentance, turning back to God, is that's the wrong thing to do. I don't want to do that anymore. I'm not going to touch that anymore. Is not the same thing as I am so sorry I'm in trouble. I am so sorry I got caught. I I mean, forgive me because now I've got to pay a comeuppance. There's a difference between wanting to be with somebody then in their presence, friends with them, all those things because you like the benefit of being in their presence. You like the benefit of going with the well-off friend because they pay for your dinner and being with them because you're their friend because you want to know them you want to be in their presence you you want to be a part of their life because of who they are not what they can do for you keep that second half of verse 23 in mind and make sure we better make sure we know why and we better make sure that we're right all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and hearts, the seat of one's personality, the center of one's personality, the seat of one's entire mental and moral activity. I will give to each one of you, pay close attention to this one, I will give, each, give to each one of you according to your works. What works is he going to translate into giving for you? Amen? Amen.